overview now of how to fit an internal hard drive to the Xvision 32 channel uh, DDR. So basically we're going to use these sets of brackets that chem with uh, the, the DDR itself. So if we just hold the brackets up like this, we can see what will happen is we'll fit a hard drive between these two brackets and then we'll bolt the actual um, uh, brackets down into the base of the DVR and I'll show that at a later point here. So how do we actually fit the, the hard drive in? Well we can see here we have a series of slots or uh, holes here and we use a total of four screws to screw in the um, internal hard drive. So what we have is here one that I've done already. So if I just rotate this around you can see it. We have two screws here, here and here and if we rotate to the far side we'll see a replication here, here and here. So this is securely mounted now. Uh, and the racking system on this means that we can actually mount a second hard drive up higher here as well. So it means that in that one space there, we can get a total of uh, two drives in. So in terms then, at the front, uh, we have two SATA connections here. We've SATA power here and the SATA data here. And we'll need to connect those cables uh, into uh, the DVR motherboard. Um, as we sh showed in the earlier overview video, it comes with a series of SATA uh, data cables, which you can see here, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna move this into position here. So we've two slots here for dropping in um, hard drive racks, and I'm just gonna drop this one in here. So you can see it there, it just slots directly in. So if we look down on the base of this, we can see we could screw it in here and here. And if we had, a, um, ideally we'll say a screwdriver that'll actually hold the, the, the screws we hold down, we can lock it in over here as well, okay? And it still leaves space to replicate exactly the same with the offsets uh, for another set of uh, two um, hard drives to go on the far side here. So the next thing is to come along and we'll say, and what are we going to connect this into? Well, we have the SATA, um, power cables here, we can see here, this is the total length of them here. So the, there's connectors on the end of it here, and then there's a repetition of those connectors halfway along the cable. So these will obviously be used for um, connecting in the furthest away DVR or hard drives here. And beside that then, uh, then the closer ones will be used with these ones. So I'm just gonna grab one of the cables here, and I'm just gonna push it directly on. So um, you can see here, there's sort of a, a little slot here, so it's, it's relatively easy to pick the right way of connecting these in. And if I just slowly guide this on, I actually have that um, connected in now. And next what I'll do is I'm just gonna come along and I'm gonna get this um, SATA data cable next. And I'm just going to slide this on here. So once again, anyway, it's, it's a reasonably crowded space we're working in here. but I'm just gonna push it in here and we have that connected. So the final thing is to come along and actually connect this onto the motherboard here. So if we look down and we see the blue connections here, these are actually SATA data connections we want to connect into here. So we could just push this down like this and it connects all the way in and hopefully you can see that there, that's connected in, okay? So the cable's there anyway. So, um, so that's it anyway. So if we actually come along and we powered up that DVR at this point here now, it will actually be able to uh, pick up that hard drive and what we do is initially just format it and then we can immediately come along and start recording a picture onto it. So, um, and we'll cover that in a later video in the series. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to fit an internal hard drive to the Xvision uh, 32 channel uh, professional DVR.